Clowning is much, much more than putting on a costume and a wig and makeup and going out and waving at cr crowds and things like that. There's a whole lot of study. There's a lot of study of the clown as an actor. So in 1997, we started the youth circus with a single class, after school class, and one summer camp. Right now we have basically one program and that's the youth circus and we have different levels of it. And to start off with the youth circus, um, they start off with doing some basic skills, stilt walking, uh, some kind of manipulation like juggling or Chinese yo-yo, uh, walking on the rolling globe or they start standing on the rolling globe and eventually learn to walk on it. And then they progress and they also do theater games um, uh, creative dramatics, creative movement, there's exercise involved, all the classes involve a certain amount of stretching and, and uh, doing plot plotties, doing planks, and um, building some core strength. <laughs> and some kids stay for two or three or four years. And eventually, if they like it, they join our Saturday advanced class. There's some skills you never quit doing, like juggling. You can, never, you can juggle all your life and just get better and better. Some skills they put aside and they move on and master other things difficult and advanced skills. So the advanced kids do uh, German wheel, we have beginning and advanced unicyclists, we have an aerials program now. So it's, it's growing about what we offer and how good the kids are getting and how, how deep they're getting into it. So I place that food first time you it super quick. Darling. Oh my darling. I think our thing is, is circus is the perfect blend of movement um, of movement, performance, uh, physical fitness, childlike wonder, it's all those things. And I, because for me, it's just a perfect blend of all those things because there is theater involved, there's performance involved, all of our kids perform. One of the parents of, um, whose son has graduated from high school and is off to college now, she thought that, um, would, her son learned that my nose turns red. The unicycle skills and the German wheel skills were wonderful, but what was really, really important and really, really useful were the leadership skills. He was such a key leader in the group and such a good, um, just a good student and just, just was so good with the younger kids. And we have a whole group of now of high school kids now who are stepping in and are learning to do that and are doing a fantastic job. When I was 20, someone would ask me if I would end up working with kids. I would, it was not in my vision, you know, it was not my vision. And, and now I, I can't believe how much I, well, I do believe how much I like it. It's just wonderful. And they always come through. They always surprise me. I'm just amazed how they work so hard. We're not a pre-professional training program get someone who really really wants to do it that's great and that's a that's a real treat to have that kind of dedication but we really want them to hopefully enjoy circuses and clowning the rest of their lives and um, but we want them to take away the confidence to be able to talk in front of people to which is I think is a basic job skill anymore I don't that's not I don't think that's uh, you know the, yeah, it's just basic that everybody should, everybody should be doing something in front of people. Um, to be able to do problem solving, we do a lot of teamwork, to appreciate teamwork. Uh, and I think one of the things we want them to appreciate is that comedy and theater can be sweet, sweet and gentle. It doesn't have to be insulting or big or loud or um, like so much I think of entertainment is today.